Hi, I'm Nico Rosberg. Hi, I'm Lewis Hamilton. It's time to get street smart. Where's my helmet? Hey, man. Hey, do you have, do you have my helmet? Don't forget your helmet. <laughs> what, the, what is that? It's an old school helmet. Come man. on. How, how does it look? It looks good. It suits you, man. You look like <laughs> Thor or something. <laughs> At least it's lighter than my real one. Yeah, but it's nowhere near as safe, man. That's for sure, yeah. Nowadays, it's almost incredible to understand that people used to think it was safe to race in a cloth and leather helmet like this. Well, nowadays, of course, the situation's very different. And we have a very high technology helmet, specially tested and produced for Formula One racing. And the helmet may look very much like the helmet that you and I might buy for road use, but in fact, it's subject to much higher testing standards. It's a much stronger helmet, and it's probably five times as expensive. In order to resist against impact and against penetration, the helmet is made from high technology materials, carbon fiber for the shell, for stiffness, Kevlar for energy absorption in the lining. Kevlar the same as in you'd find in a bulletproof jacket. Three millimeter thick visor to resist penetration from foreign objects. So helmets have come a long way over the years. Um, obviously, maybe you saw the one that I gave to Nico. And every year, they improve the helmet safety and the restrictions and the tests get more and more vigorous. It needs to withstand both fire as well, so it's, it's uh, fire resistant. This is the, one of the most sacred things for a driver, and it's the most important thing. The safety of the helmet has improved incredibly over the years. It's now carbon fiber, specially molded around my head, and there's a lot of safety features, like for example, this extra panel here on the front, out of carbon, which is just to increase the strength of the helmet in this frontal area. Since the helmet is on the outside, it's part of the car's aerodynamics. So the helmet shape and form have to be designed to be sympathetic with the car's performance and to provide the right comfort for the driver not to get excess forces on his head. What does it mean for the road? Well, those of us that use helmets, we, must, we all know that we must always wear a helmet on a motorcycle as a passenger or a driver. Remember the helmet keeps you comfortable, it allows you to focus, and it also might save your life. Hey man, yeah, thanks. Much better. That's gonna be definitely safer than the other one. Yeah.